Hi, meteorologist Damon Lee Lotus and this is your weekly forecast for July 29th. Now, right now, Oklahoma City is under a flash flood watch and this does extend into parts of northwestern Oklahoma between Clinton, Woodward, Enid, those areas. Now, a couple of more counties should be added to this before the night is out and this does last until tomorrow afternoon. As we take a live look at the advanced Doppler 3D, right now we are tracking a couple of light rain showers in parts of northwestern Oklahoma, but as you can see, they are starting to dissipate. But what we're primarily looking at is what's going on in Colorado right now because these are going to be the storms that as they cycle into Oklahoma, they're going to be bringing most of our rainfall. Now, predictors showing that by tomorrow morning, most of the rain is going to be in the western half of the state between Altus, Clinton, Woodward, those areas. But as the morning presses on by 9 a.m., the rain should start to move here into the metro area. So for your overnight rain chances, we're looking at 100% chance for Oklahoma City, Clinton, Woodward, those areas. Parts of southeastern Oklahoma, Lawton, Hover, Altus, they're looking at an 80% chance. So for parts of central and western Oklahoma, that's where you're going to see the highest rain chances. Now, what is this mean for your morning commute between 7 and 9 a.m. Now as you're heading out the door, you're going to be seeing a lot of wet roads in a very slow commute. So as you're heading out tomorrow, make sure you give yourself about 20 to 30 minutes extra so that way you make sure you get to work on time. So for the overnight hours, we're looking at an overnight low of 65 degrees for Oklahoma City. That's also where we'll start for tomorrow morning. We'll get out to 69 by noon, but this 100% chance of rain is going to last pretty much all day. And look at this, the afternoon high is only 72 degrees. So it's not every day you see an afternoon high in July of only only 72, but as you take a look at the highs across the rest of the state tomorrow, normally this time of year we're at 95, but look at this, only 74 in Seminole tomorrow, 73 in Stillwater, and 71 in Enid. So some parts of the state tomorrow are going to be about 20 to 25 degrees below normal. So we may even threaten some record lows tomorrow. So for the rain chances, the rain's going to be the primary reason why we're going to be so chilly. Now Oklahoma City is looking at 100% chance rain. So for Oklahoma City and northern parts of the state, the northern half, that's where you're going to see the highest rain chance for tomorrow. Now predictors showing that this rain is pretty much going to stick around all day tomorrow. So as we head into uh, tomorrow night, that's when it's going to be affecting parts of central and in northeastern Oklahoma. Then by the time Thursday morning gets here, it is going to start to progress into parts of southeastern Oklahoma. And that's whenever by the time Thursday morning gets here, that's when it's going to start to progress out of the state completely. By the time Thursday morning, as you're heading out the door tomorrow, that's when the rain should be completely out of the area. So just how much rainfall will we see before all is said and done? Well, for a majority of the state, Oklahoma City included, we're looking at anywhere between two to four inches of rain. Now what that's going to do for your storm impact, that's going to raise our flooding risk all the way up to a moderate risk right there. Now, right now the atmosphere is not unstable enough to produce any type of severe activity like tornadoes or hail. So we're not even looking at any gusty winds right now. It's looking like it's just going to be good old fashioned rain and a lot of it. So for your five plus five forecast as we're heading, as we're looking at the next week, 65 to start off tomorrow. It's going to be raining. It's going to be cool. Only an afternoon high of 72 tomorrow. 78 for an afternoon high of Thursday. The temperatures do start to make a rebound by the time August gets here. Afternoon high of 85 for Friday. And look at the weekend. High of 85 for Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be nice. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be a beautiful start to the month of August. Now as the next week gets here, that's when the temperatures do rise just a little bit. High of 88 on Monday. But look at this. The 90s do make a return to the forecast starting early next week. And I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to that. And you're up to date with the latest First Alert forecast.